many names uh, because some of them live in Wellington. They could even be here. Uh, and uh, yeah, they didn't do so much of the training. Um, but Dean, myself, Aiden, Jed, uh, Richard, we really, you know, hit it hard. And uh, because we wanted to not be doubled in the fight sequences unless it was absolutely essential. So really, I think the only times that we were doubled were when we physically couldn't be in one place, uh, two places at the same time. So if one of us was on second unit, the other guy, my stun double would be on main or vice versa. So we did, we did a lot of them. I and we, you know, everyone got uh, little knocks and stuff, but amazingly, nobody got injured badly. Uh, no, they, we didn't. It was t towards the end, the bodies did start to give up. They were like saying, come on, you know, you're having a laugh. It's ridiculous because we were, I think my costume at its heaviest when I would be wearing the axes and the, the hammer and the cloak and the whole deal was, um, now you think in kilos, don't you? So it's, it was about 30 to 35 kilos over my body weight. So you'd be um, running around with that and uh, we'd, we'd, be <laughs> we'd, we'd have to sprint all over the South Island uh, being pursued by wags. And um, we would run, I mean, you know, we were fit. And we ran with this stuff on. And every time we do it, Peter would just go, yeah, 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 it just needs to be a bit faster, you know? <laughs> it's good, but it's not fast enough. So uh, we would have to do it again. Um, and it was, it, was, it was an interesting experience because, for my character, because I had prosthetic forearms, um, there was nowhere for the heat to go when you were fighting. So your, your poor heart just spikes at whatever it is, whatever heart rate you go up to, and it can't understand why you're not cooling down, why it's not getting any easier. And so you would be able to fight for maybe two, three minutes tops, and then you'd have to stop for about a minute and recover and then do another take. And when, at the end of it, um, at the end of the day or an end of a fight sequence, I, this poor young woman, Natalie, used to have to peel my arms off uh, at the end of it, and to put them on, each one weighed two and a half kilos, the arms, and to, to take them off, um, well, to put them on, sorry, she had to put uh, talcum powder inside, so you could, you used to stand there, and she'd be holding them like this, and I'd just go, <laughs> and then pull it up like that, and then it would be on. And then when she peeled it off, of course, the sweat, um, mixed with the talcum powder, created what came to be known as Dwalin milk. And uh, <laughs> it was the most disgusting every time. And, and sometimes you'd have to do it many times a day. This would just spray everywhere. Poor girl. I mean, it wasn't pleasant. And she, she toughed it out two and a half years getting Dwalin milked. Um, <laughs> For two and a half years, that's, 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 you need a medal for that alone. Okay, well, yeah, so it was great fun. <laughs> uh, question.